Matt and Joe here from Thumbs Up Wine. If you're coming to the Napa Valley either for a day or a week, there are certain things that you have to see. We call them the seven wonders of the world, and this is one of them. The castle! Actually, there's no sign of a castle as you pass through the entrance of Castello di Amorosa. There's just anticipation. A full-scale, authentic medieval castle in the Napa Valley? Really? And then, there it is. You'd have to fly to Italy to see anything like this. And even then, it'd be hard to find a better example of a 13th century Tuscan castle. The construction alone took over 15 years to complete. And everything, everything was done by hand. We're talking hand-hewn wooden doors that weigh a thousand pounds each, hand-painted frescoes, hand-forged Italian ironwork, and literally millions of individual bricks and stones each of which was set in place by hand. Did we mention that it's also a winery? Well, it is, and it's got wine. Lots of wine. There are four levels above ground at the castle, and we decided to start things off by heading to the top. One thing the castle isn't short on is views. You can walk up to the edge of the castle wall just about anywhere and enjoy sweeping vistas of the Napa Valley and the surrounding hills. Inside the walls, you'll see everything exactly as it was in the 13th century, from the Tuscan courtyard complete with loges and a well, to the spectacular fresco-covered Great Hall that feels like the Sistine Chapel, to the church, complete with a confessional. And that's only half the story. There are four more levels below ground to check out, if you're authorized. No entry. Huh. No entry is my middle name. Is that... Yes. Here you'll find a labyrinth of hallways, storage rooms, dining areas, and prison chambers. Bad boys. Of course, it wouldn't be a real castle without a torture, torture chamber. chamber. If there was a way to torture someone in the 13th century, it's in here. From the rack, to the Iron Maiden, to the chair of torture. Are the devices in the torture chamber real? Well, to be real, they only have to be used once. I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> And they store wine down here too, on about two acres. That's right, with all the incredible sights at the castle, it's easy to forget that there is incredible wine here too. There are over 20 different wines to taste, and they're all defined by fine wine characteristics like elegance and balance. They also make the best grape juice in the entire country. I'm not kidding. Grab some from their website and you'll thank us later. From the animals, to the drawbridge, to the battlements, to the loggia, to the watchtower, to the secret passageways, to the knights in armor, to other surprises. <laughs> if you miss the Castello de Amorosa when you're in the Napa Valley, you're missing out. So as you can see, Castella di Amorosa is one place you don't wanna miss. It's definitely one of the seven wonders of the world right here in the Napa Valley. It's Matt and Joe, we'll see you next time.